Hello guys, welcome to my channel. I'm almost with Ella and for this video, I'll be teaching you guys how to um, make your BAM thumbnails, how to make good thumbnails, how to edit your thumbnails, how to create your thumbnail. Okay, and you're going to be really, really good. The app I use is Funto and let's get to the video i'll be linking my screen with you guys so that you see what i'm doing as you guys know i do most of tutorial videos and here is one for you that's going to blow your mind away so let's get to the so here is my phone i'm going to if you guys don't have the app you know the drill go download the app Funto is really cool so i have my app and i'm just going to open up Funto and what you're going to do is you're going to click on camera and then plain images so you have this you're going to click on one and you're going to change this you're going to change this right here custom and youtube thumbnail size is 120 the width is 1 to 8 0 and the height is 720. This is the standard ratio for the YouTube thumbnail. So you have to change your um, settings to this. And then you have this, something like this. So you're going to go to the photo you want to use as your thumbnail. So let's click on use. And here it is. So I'm going to click on add images or add image. And then I'm going to scroll right down to an image i want to use okay so it's not here going to so i want to use this one um i recently just did a slice noodle challenge if you have not watched it please go and watch it i'm going to leave it down in the description below i promise you you're going to laugh real hard okay so what you want to do now is you want to add this so you could um add however you want you could increase the size sorry so you go to size and then you just drag if you want just this just drag so i suggest if you want just this you just drag but i usually like to use like two images for my thumbnail or more but i'm going to use two for the sake of this video so just going to leave this here and then i'm going to add another image sorry I'm going to add another image this let's check the size here 213 and i'm going to make this also 213 that tree is low 213 so you just drag it down till it fits the whole the size of the box so much just make sure it fits the size make sure it fits the size properly and then you could save save the image as png just save it then you go back then you go to your um photos and then you check out what you just saved so this is my image if you do not like it you could redo it severally i'm going to teach you how to do a single and double so I used two images. I do not like it, but for the sake of this video, I'm just going to keep on doing it so you guys will understand. So you go back to Fonto and you click on um, photo albums. Then you click on the video, the photo that you just used and done. So this is it. So now you want to add text to it. This is the main issue here. You have to bring out your inner creativity. So this video is Spicy Noodles Challenge, right? So I want to write Spicy Noodles Challenge, right? Uh -huh. Spicy. As you can see, my Kimmy, my um, 
my font is already set to this dripping one because this is one i used last and i actually like this one so i'm just going to use this one and place it right here you could select fonts so you could either just place it like this or you could just create it with it you could tilt it you know you could just tilt it anyhow you want and you could just move it around but i'm just going to leave it here and you could add noodles for noodles i usually like to change the font so i just use something else let me just check this one i don't like this noodles no i don't like this this one so I could just use noodles then I'm just going to reduce the size because this is way too big just going to reduce it noodles and challenge and you could change the style this is kind of tricky but I usually use stroke not text I usually use stroke so you see what this is doing you can see what it is doing so you use noodles here and challenge so it comes back in the same font but i like to use the dripping one and with hyphen So I also like to go to style and just change it up a bit. Just change it up. Use red because no news is red. Oh, it's red and done. That's another challenge. See? This is like how you create like a badass thumbnail. I know it doesn't really look so cute, but that's like it's because it's always that is because it is a rush work. So that's why it doesn't look so cute. This is how you create your thumbnail, right? So now this is what I want to use for my thumbnail. I'm just going to go right down and save. But personally, I do not like this. I don't like it. I'm just doing it for the purpose of this video. So let me do something that I actually like. So I'm just going to do this again. Let me show you a thumbnail that I need. The one I used before. How exactly I need it. Fondo. So now I'm going to go to um my photos and I'm going to take on this one because I like this one and I just want it to be just one photo so it doesn't get so much like the other one was. I'm going to do the same thing that I did spicy you know, pepper. I see. So like the ones I wanted to come out. <laughs> so normally people write it in full spicy noodles challenge, but I do not want to do that. Like let me tell you what I mean. Spicy noodles challenge. See, it's just going to be in one line, and even if you try to make it cute a bit, like split it. She gets something like this and it still looks uh, still looks boring so i'm going to delete this i'm going to write spicy put it right up here to the bits bit noodles change this one style stroke red stroke no green stroke so much I'm going to increase the size of this one because it looks a bit small increase the size of there 
I see will be a challenge. This one I'm going to style it in red. I'm going to style it in red. So red. And I'm going to add some images to it to make the effect pop. And I could increase the size a bit because this is the scary one. Then you have something like this and then now you could also add um images to this picture or like um a picture of um a picture of the um, noodles you made so i'm going to go to add image i don't know if i've deleted the one i did i'm just going to search for it okay it's not deleted so this is the image of the noodles i made and I'm just going to take it to here because I want it to be here and I'm going to reduce the size I'm just placing right here so it gets interesting see then what I want to do next I don't know if you guys can hear me mm, mm. what I want to do next is what I want to do next I don't know so you just have to go to any browser or anywhere and just search for um, noodles or I'm Ken Master. If you're doing a tutorial video, just iMovie or um, PNG. Just search for iMovie PNG and then it brings it out and you just screenshot and add here. See? Quite easy. Very, very easy. So, easy, right? I know. It's really easy. So, this is how you make your badass thumbnail. You could add several, um, several images together. You could just make it creative, make it your way, your style, however you want it and you could change the theme just do a whole bunch of stuff those ones are easy to comprehend and you could understand it yourself just mess around with the app and figure out what the rest of them are for but i have made two thumbnails for you guys and you guys you know how to make a thumbnail by now because you're smart and yeah so you should save it and it goes to your photo and ready to upload it for my video please do not forget to subscribe i know you like this video so subscribe eh? please please subscribe please subscribe down below subscribe there and give us a big thumbs up give it a big thumbs up whether you like it or not just give it a big thumbs up okay thank you bye